either guessing or he thinks he's got the entire net covered. He doesn't have it there. The Canucks have built a tremendous... What you're looking here is a fail attempt by Calgary Flames. As you can see, the Calgary Flames have got a abysmal score of 5 to 10. Although I'm very glad to see that the Vancouver Canucks winning, it's very, very unfortunate that the Flames losing. So, that's why I feel bad for them. So, let's hope they stay in trouble for the best. this if you're then a backhand shot saved there directing that one to Gagne is able to move on in Vancouver's taking advantage of the delayed call the goalie is off paddled aside and play is stopped again and I'm almost out of ink on this penalty sheet Calgary's got a minor penalty it's two minutes for interference Clearly an interference call, not allowing the player to get involved into the play. Vancouver's power play has been highly effective, and it gets yet another chance off of this faceoff. Another faceoff win. I wonder what his percentage is now. It's way up there. 16 minutes, 58 seconds. Wonderful stop. Crosses that line. Let's it go. Wonderful save. That was a big hit. That looked like it was accidentally on purpose. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. That's terrific goaltending. Score! <laughs> Goalie made the initial stop with those quick hands, speed him on the rebound. The goaltender's not able to cover the rebounder directed to the corner. He gets there next and is able to put it away. The Canucks have built an enormous lead and some wonderful confidence here. The coach probably won't have to say much at the end of this second period. And they won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. Trying to go to Bennett. Nikolai Goldobin driving in Oliver from Gold. no man's land. Say 33 seconds. Stick to stick, he's got it. Gathered up again by Hamannick. Looking to Bennett. A great speed bump set up there. It's dumped in. Skill play by Roussel. Shoots. Say. And decides to just hold on and get a stoppage of play. Calgary's got a defensive zone win. Let's it go. Flexed out that pad and got it. That shot's blocked. Picked up by the defense. The Flames on the move through center. Scooped up by Puglia. Cuts that pass off. A collision. I really like the effort that he's trying there to generate a turnover by finishing his check. Gains the zone. One-timer and a save. That puck is held and the whistle stops play. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. The Canucks win the draw. Big collision in open ice. Odd man rush two on one. What a hit that was. Giordano's not shy to throw his body around here at any time. Flings it. Oh, and a great opportunity denied by that pad. The drama heightens in this final minute of the second period. He hangs on and gets the whistle. 
As soon as the shooter starts to release this, the goalie drops to the butterfly. Hey, buddy, pick up your head. You might see he's down on his knees already. Nice face-off win. That puck was obstructed by a screen. With a blast! He missed the net! Good thing that didn't hit the net. That thing was moving quick. Moving it to Gagne. Enormous hit. He's crushed. Snaps a shot. Got his pad on that one. Passing one off now to Lindholm. Vancouver setting up an offense from the wing. Shot. That shot came from right in front. He had his eye on the puck the whole time. What a stop. Steps across that line. Shoots. Didn't have time, but he saved it anyway. Well, they got to be a little tired after these first two periods of play, so they'll get a rest as we start to think ahead toward period number three. Let's it go. Skill play by Backlund. Kicked to Lindholm. Terrific determination by Puglia. Nice work by Backlund. Wonderful play by the defense. The Canucks get the puck with just a few seconds left on their power play. To Horvath. He's in on an onside play. Big chance here. That one's right on his stick from the right side. Laid on the Gronlin. Perfect tip by the stick. He's been drilled again. That's a lot of times tonight. He's been feeling it by now. Vancouver's power play, a rare empty. A lot of full ones tonight. Pitching this one, the Gronlin. Puck is thrown to Pedersen. Taken out along the boards. Oh, he had nowhere to go on that play. In all alone. Wonderful save. Hamannick's shoulder is right through the opposing player. That is a great hit. Last minute to go in the third. Shot on. Waffle boarded. Carries it on in from center. Save! Holds on and gets that whistle. The draw, the tie-up, and his team prevails. Got that pass in his own end. Pass cut. Might go the other way now. Smart recovery by Puglia. The Canucks are skating it up and neutralize. By himself. Got it at the point. Whoa, what a play. Well, that's a bad turnover, Doc. When you're ahead, that puck has to be moved into a safe area of the ice 100% of the time. And there it is. The game is over. In a game which featured a lot of power plays, particularly for one team, I guess we shouldn't be surprised about the outcome. Uh, they don't ask how, they just ask how many, and they got more pucks to the net on a power play and had a huge night in a specialty team. That's it for another great night at a hockey rink. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying good evening, everyone.